Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Making a great night, folks. April 21st, man. Time just keeps going. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 244, NASDAQ up 98, S&P's up 26, gold contract up $15.90, trading at 1794 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 81 cents, $26.65 a an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck and a half, trading $61.17 a barrel notes and bonds. Both flat, 132.16 for the 10, 158.04 for the 30 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 92 ticks, trading out 91.149. The euro is at 120. The yen is at 108. And the British pound is trading out at 139 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. It was a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get the spies right now. The spies are up by 270, and you're coming up with 39 million. Uh, so, what you have here, folks, is that you know, we didn't come down with a lot of volume. We had an expansion of volume yesterday. Yesterday, you did uh, 81 million, and what we are, do have, what we have out here right now, though, is that you are going higher with lighter volume. Bottom line, can it test the highs? Yes, it can test the highs. But that's also telling us that you're going to go back downtown. NDX 100. Now, the NDX, I'm going to bring up the futures with the NDX, because this is going to get really intriguing inside the NDX, meaning how we come into the close out here today. Because of the fact that what we had with the NDX this morning is that we took a B point out of an intraday ABC structure on the way down, and it took it out with volume, and then it just rejected price like ASAP. I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty wild watching this, this thing shake out. The bottom line is that we had the B point was laying out there at uh, 13,704. You came down, and you blasted through the thing, and we had volume, price, you had it all above. And then guess what, folks? The bottom line is that the bar on the way down had contract volume of 31,000. Well, the bar, right, going right back up, had 30,000. You know, so what you have when, when you have something like that is that first off, it is still an intraday ABC structure on the way down, complex one, no doubt about that. That being said, it's like, okay, and then rejected it, and it did have the volume on the way up. So now if we turn around and we take this and we put this on a daily, what you're seeing on a daily is that you did 26, million shares thus far. Yesterday we did uh, 38. We'll see. What, what's going to be important here is this, is that it's going to be important as to where the queues finish, number one. If they sell off a bit coming into the close, what that actually is going to do is it's probably going to set up a small ABC structure on the way down. If they do not sell off into the close at all and you do less than 38 million shares, that is saying that the queues once again will go right for the very top. That's, a, that's how this thing uh, shakes out. The IWM, we take a look at the IWM. IWM gained back exactly what it lost out here yesterday. Yesterday, you come down hard inside, inside the IWM. You did 35 million shares. You're going up with 24 million shares out here uh, this morning. This morning, this afternoon. Gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract not only has caught a bid, you get follow through that's happening. Right now, we're at 17.94. We've hit 17.98. 18.18 is game. That, that's the real bottom line. And there's not a lot of flack at 18.18. So I expect what you're actually going to see more than likely where on a Wednesday, you get a couple more days in the week. This thing can get to 18.50 pretty quickly. And if we go over to the silver market, we take a look at silver. Silver has caught a big bid. You're up 84 cents in silver. And what we have inside of silver is that we got an ABC structure on the way up. You're blowing away a B point. You have volume on the move. And silver is looking to go to 30 bucks. I mean, silver has a high spike, $30.04. Right now, you're at 26.68. 
And if we go take a look at the, uh, just take a look at some of the silver stocks. Uh, okay, let's just bring up Pan American Silver first. Um, that's up. That's up a buck. That could use a little more volume, but the bottom line is that it, it's got some juice behind it. We take a look at Hecla. Hecla right now up 37 cents. Uh, this one here is more volatile, which is uh, Endeavor Silver. That's up 31 cents. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market because uh, rates, bottom line, <laughs> still staying low. There's no two ways about that. What we have with rates right now is that you get a flat market. We are at 132.17, and what we're doing with the rate and bond market is this now. Now, we're right against a swing point, and you can see you're right against a swing point, and you have volume behind the move. Bottom line, you get 1.1 million contracts. That's saying that your probability is that you're going to break the swing, you're going to go higher, higher price, lower yields coming out of. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.